Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking out today's video. Today we're going to take a look at two replays of a strategy that I'm working on, um, starting with this one. Now, I haven't uploaded in about five, six, seven days, something like that, because after the update hit, I was immediately a max 13 pretty much, and none of the bases that we're facing were even close. They were pretty much max 12s with a Town Hall 13 um, on it, like this guy here, right? He has a level 3 Town Hall and the Eagle, but he has nothing else. He has two level 1 scatter shots. This is pretty much a dip, right? And it just felt kind of dirty to me to make a video saying, oh, do this strategy, it's so OP, um, when everything is OP. You know, it's a dip. So anyway, the plan here is to walk the Queen down this direction, all the way around this corner, right? Jump here in between these two defenses to get these two Inferno Towers, King on this side, Miners and Hogs up the middle with the Royal Champion to take out this um, compartment here with the Inferno, the Archer Tower, the Wizard Tower, and the Bomb Tower. And I'm going to give the Royal Champion three healers because there's no air defenses over here, so it would be a lot of value. The Royal Champion would live a really long time. However, that's not how the raid goes. And this is going to be a good example of what I'm talking about, how everything is OP right now. So the queen walks the wrong way, which is fine. I think to myself, if I put a jump to this inferno and she takes down this inferno, then maybe um, I can get a lot of value out of this charge and it, that would be fine. I realize the archer tower is picking off my healers, so I sent three hogs to take down that archer tower. We're also taking on the CC, so we're going to go ahead and take that down here, which is nice. Not taking on too many point defenses, although she has taken three point defenses the new level of queen and the new healer um, heal ability, I guess. The way the heal mechanic works on the heroes, she has no problem taking on all those point defenses. Now, big mistake, I put the he um, jump in a place where she's not going to take it. She's actually going to come for this town hall, but I was scared if I put the jump connecting that town hall compartment, she was going to go there no matter what. So, um, and she ends up going to the town hall, a waste of a jump, and... I really didn't want those healers to cook here, so I rage up the queen. I'm ready to hit that ability if I need it, but it looked like the healers were going to be fine. So we end up getting the town hall and the royal champion, which is not bad value, but it's not the plan. So um, she's going to work her way around. I decide, okay, cut the funnel here with the king, send the miners right at the wizard tower here and the inferno tower. Again, this is completely off of the plan, so now we're just com total YOLO here. <laughs> So King, I give him a couple miners to help him clean up this trash out here, keep him nice and tight and tank some of these defenses. Of course he doesn't, he walks away, it's fine. I decide to ward an ability here very early to save myself from those eagle shots, the bomb tower, and the queen's initial shots on my miners. I heal him up there. I'm also going to rage once we get close to the eagle because I realize my troops were taking kind of an ugly split and I need that eagle to go down. So here, looking at what we have left, I realize the queen's got this side. She'll clean all this just fine. The hogs and the miners are pushing through here, but they're struggling a bit. So I want to put the stone slammer here and put the royal champion here. Again, I still have a royal champion and three healers to place. So it was not the plan for her to come down here where all these air defenses are because her healers are going to get picked off pretty quick. And especially with the inferno there too. But... We had to make lemonade out of this lemon of a raid, so this is what we did. And again, this is a really good example of why I've been hesitant to show any um, replays and videos lately because it seems like everything is working, everything is OP. Because even though they have Town Hall 13 Town Halls, their defenses are not nearly upgraded enough to handle the new troops, heroes, and spells, so... But we did manage to pull in the triple here. It was a beautiful dip. Total mess. <laughs> Total beautiful mess. Um, let's go down. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice a little bit. So this one I did live on my stream. I stream on Twitch at Lando underscore streaming, if you didn't know. Um, the plan was to ward and walk this section here without getting too close to this royal champion. So we place him here. He starts cutting the funnel. Everything is looking great. The other side of the funnel is going to be the queen over here. Again, I'm working on the eight healer 
two hero walk um, attack strategies. So the plan was because there's a hound in the CC, have the queen cut this funnel and walk up and then jump spell into the inferno tower up here at nine o'clock. So now that the warden has got his funnel pretty well established, all I really want is that wizard tower down. I start the queen. And even with three um, defenses on the king, the uh, warden like that, or I guess it was only two, it was just the expo and the Tesla, never mind. But he was fine over there without any rages. Now I put the yetis down, and this is a problem, because the yetis didn't pull him in time, uh, the warden. He just targeted that royal champion altar, and now he's aggroed that royal champion to chase him down. So the auto ability pops because I didn't even see the royal champion hitting him. And not only that, like we have a pretty serious problem here. The queen is attached to the hound, right? She's come up and around these walls. Now she wants to take on the hound. All the troops are coming into the um, gigabomb, the, the town hall, without the warden ability. So I dropped the jump also. I dropped the jump only to connect this CC compartment when I meant to connect it to this uh, eagle compartment. Troops go in. Bowlers are all dead. But the yetis are so tanky that they're just fine. The healers on them, they're not going to die. No problem. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, it looks like the queen's going to join the party here. So I decide instead of the queen taking down this compartment, we'll use the stone slammer and the royal champion everybody's kind of pushing their way up through that core I realize now that the jump spell is placed very badly and so I placed the second jump spell here when that second jump spell was really meant to go here to let my troops into this compartment here and out the back side of the base but we're making the best of it we have a royal champion and maxed out balloons just running through that 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock side over there And yeah, again, I'm only getting away with this because this is technically a dip. This would never have worked on a max 13, 100% for sure. Anyways, we'll just uh, speed this up. It's mostly cleanup, and I brought tons of cleanup so you can see on that back end. No problem with time. All those buildings are going down pretty quick. And yeah, so I'm playing with the, the eight healers. From here on out, now that my 13 is 100% max, I'll be hitting it with my lower accounts to show you guys gameplay of how to properly hit uh, maxed out 13s and uh, how well those defenses hold up and what kind of stuff you can expect when hitting bases with things like max expos and cannons and giant bombs and eagles, everything. So anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.